This is Jen from the Fiercely Independent Network. We're here at the Woodstock Playhouse to see the screening of Simone Shaheen, A Musical Journey. Let's take a look. My name is Simone Shaheen. Uh, I'm a musician, performer, and composer. I'm also an educator. I teach at the Berklee College of Music, and I live in New York. Uh, my name is Tarek Ben Brahim. I'm the filmmaker. I made the film. This is such an honor. This is the first view of the film. I myself, this is the first time I'm going to see it on the big screen. The story of this film started me back in 1991 when I went to meet Simon Shaheen, his apartment up in Brooklyn, to take oud classes with him. After that, I played in his band for many years and I learned so much from him. Apart from the music and everything, it was the journey that I had with him. The film is a culmination of an experience for almost 30 years you knowing Simon Shaheen. And uh, it's a story told through music, through performance, through education, and through what music represents to us as humans, which is that of a connection between people and an expression of the soul. One thing which is extremely important is that this film, it seems like it's for non-Arab audiences. I made it with an idea that especially Arab audiences have to know it. And that's one of the reasons why Simon speaks Arabic in this film, in his interview, could have been done in English. The reason why, because now in the world, some of the best classical Arabic music is being performed, taught and played in America, not in the Middle East. There is a great deal in the Middle East and everything, but it's not done the way it's been done here. We are here to, to tell everybody that the culture of the Middle East is one of the great cultures in the, of the world. And uh, instead of uh, living in uh, limbo and darkness, we bring the light, we bring music, we bring the, uh, the experience. And uh, this way, we learn from each other. I started to learn Western classical music at the age of four. I played Bach and Paganini when I was eight and ten years old. So I would like somebody, an American, to play on the oud a beautiful etude of composition that I composed also. <laughs> For more from the Fiercely Independent Network and to check out more about the festival, visit www.woodstockfilmfestival.com.